So I royally screwed the pooch with you guys on that last video regarding the horns on the street glide. Uh, I've said it in the comments a couple of times. I had every intention on getting a sound bite for you guys and by the time everything was installed and done and I showed it off to my neighbor, I had completely forgotten about it and walked away and that, that, that is my bad. So uh, I went ahead and I've got the street glide out and I got the springer out. So we can do kind of a, a one for one side by side kind of comparison. Now I know that's a 24 year old bike, but the horn on it really isn't any different than what's on the fat boy in the garage. Plus uh, we're going to throw something else on the, the Springer real quick. So we're gonna kind of do a, a two for one Vigia here. So coming over, let's go ahead and Kick that on. Looks like my neighbor's rolling up. He likes to yeehaw cowboy his motor, so hold up. All right, now that he's done, you know, with the Yeah Brother engine revs, so we'll kick that on and stand back. So this is just the stock horn on the 2000 Springer. It's pretty pathetic. Pretty pathetic, not gonna lie. So coming over to the street glide, make sure I got the key on me. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and kick that on. Make sure the volume's down. Because, you know, when you get back from a ride, you just never know, you know, how loud you left your volume at. So, there's that. So, we're standing back roughly the same distance here on the moto horns. So, yeah. There's that. Substantially louder. Sorry I didn't get that to you sooner. But, there you go way louder, way less anemic sounding than what Harley gives you right out the factory. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the seat off the Springer and get right back to you guys on a reinstall on that. So hold on. Okay. So seats off. And like I said, we're doing a reinstall, something we've already done on the channel, but, oh, that sounds bright, but I got a surprise from another uh, apparently family friend. My family has friends. I've just as surprised as the rest of you, but um, apparently she went ahead and did a tank bib for the Springer 2 based off of the original design that I wanted uh, that my other guy really liked, but didn't it told me he didn't have the skills to make it look good, so he didn't want to do it. So that's how we ended up with that uh, that steer skull one that's actually back in his possession because I washed the bike and some of the paint came off. So he's going to fix that. You know, he apologized. Shit happens, but uh, he's going to get that taken care of. So instead, what I've got is this guy here. It's that old school pinstriping down in the corners all the way around. This, this isn't the exact design, but it's really darn close to what I wanted. At least this one, she did leather wrap the edge, which I appreciate. And then on the back, she went with some suede to kind of help protect the paint. Whereas with the last one, I just glued some felt fabric on the back of uh, the other one, called it a day. The only thing I can say is I don't really dig what's supposed to be a red metallic, looks more of a pink to me. So who knows, I might reach out to her in the future and see if maybe she can't hit that with an actual red or maybe I'll hit that with a red, I don't know. But the design is exactly what I wanted to go on this. So I've already loosened that half inch nut. I've already pulled that T25 out. So see if I can't do this one handed. Don't know if I can, especially right handed. Hey, look at that. Okay, so that's in. So that kind of gives you the gist of how it's gonna look. So let me get this all secured and get the seat back on and I'll kind of tell you guys who she is and if you want something, how to get in touch with her. So, all right. So just a couple of minutes all back together. You'll notice we have the, the old fat man seat back on here instead of the saddleman. That's because I'm sending the seat back and their R&D guys, their designer and whomever else is going to go ahead and take a look at what the heck's going on with that because even the designer said that's not right so i got it boxed up i'm gonna get that back to them and they've been they've been great it's just not a fast process so in the meantime we're gonna run the old fat man seat you know it's a maybe half a degree better than that heritage seat but 
uh, I still prefer my saddleman. So anyway, so there it is. A little point of view for you. To me, that still looks pink. You know, you guys let me know what you think. I think that's going to look a lot better once the bike gets resprayed red. But I'm going to run it because I like the design. The pink, not a fan of, but, you know, it is what it is, at least for now. So, but if any of you guys want to reach out to her, she does wallets and keychains. And she's got a picture of a, a gun wallet, that, or gun holster that she did. But I don't know if that's something that she did for her or if she does those in general I have no idea but you can reach out and you can ask um, had to make notes so I could remember but her email address and I'll put all this down below along with uh, the link to her website uh, but the email address is nny.casberg that's c-a-s-b-e-r-g at gmail.com her name is Nancy uh, nice gal you know she's here local in Washington so I got to meet her and, and talk with her when she brought it to me to drop off. Um, and her uh, website is Bare Naked Goods, and that's B Bear like the animal. So B E A R Naked Goods, all one word. Dot com. So I said I'll, I'll drop that on the screen below, both uh, uh, the email address and her web address and i'll put down the link down below too again her name's nancy she does this as a side hustle to whatever her day job is uh so she just kind of discovered uh a love for leather work so like i said she does all kinds of stuff i don't know what her average turnaround time is this took three weeks but i don't know necessarily how serious she was about getting it to me since we're kind of a family friend and it was kind of a, a back burner type project but if that's not the case like it will be for you guys i'm I anticipate the turnaround time being a bit faster but it's custom work so it comes with a custom time frame so uh the tank bib ran 65 um i don't know what her wallets and keychains and stuff like that run that's all up on her website so uh that that's that's what i've got we got the horn comparison because I dropped the ball so hard. We got a tank bib on there trying to support a local small business here. Uh, she's hoping to turn that into a full-time gig and get out of whatever her day job is. So if you guys want to hit her up and you know communicate with her, see what we can do. We'll see what she can do. I'm done everything I can. So, but uh, that's all I've got. I've got something else. I think I want to do a video on. I'm not so sure. It's from what I'm seeing online, a bit controversial, kind of a 50-50 split. Some guys think it's hilarious and, and they they want that or they think it's great. Other guys are thinking it's fucking stupid and it just ruins the whole motorcycle. So I'm gonna sit and think on that one. You guys let me know if you want if you want to see how big of a, a jackass I can be with the money that I waste on motorcycles. Let me know, maybe I'll do a video on, on this install. I might just keep it to myself and keep my dumbassery semi-closeted. So, uh, questions, comments, concerns about the tank bib or uh, Nancy and her business, you know, let me know. You guys absolutely blew up that horn video. I'm sorry, again, about not getting that sound clip out, but uh, I'll try to do better next time. Uh, but that's it. If you would, Joe, like, comment, Subscribe a whole nine yards and we'll catch y'all next time. Later.